What's up everyone, it's Vivi and welcome back to another Twin Sanity discussion video. Now, I made a video, like two days ago, discussing the open letter to Vicarious Visions by Keith Webb, the artist who worked on Twin Sanity. Now, a bunch of you guys in the comments section got super excited. It's as if the game got confirmed. It hasn't been confirmed, that's not the case, but who knows what's in store for us in the future. Now, about this whole topic of other remakes, remasters, Activision being open to that idea, I'm going to assume that they're first priority will at least be Spyro or Crash Team Racing. I mean, a lot of people have been asking for that. And on top of that, Vicarious Visions is very aware. As for Twin Sanity about the open letter, I don't think we got a reply yet, but perhaps we will soon. Or never. You never know. Here's another thing. Many of you have been discussing the idea of an actual new game. A sequel. I understand some of you are tired of these remakes, remasters, enough of that. We don't want it to get stuck in this endless loop, right? I get that. But a new game, instead of another remaster, well, remake, doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. We haven't gotten an actual sequel in a very long time. Now I've thought of something. After reading your comments, it inspired me to make this video, okay? A lot of you might perhaps disagree with this idea, call it stupid or dumb, I don't know. With the amount of cut content and twin sanity, what would you say about a reimagining, not a remake? Could this reimagining be considered the new Crash Bandicoot game. I mean, there's a bunch and a bunch of removed content. Cutscenes, Crash falling into Rusty's pot, and Trent's after being attacked by Evil Crash, Evil Coco, Cortex shooting at Good Cortex, Nina, and Crash being pursued by Ants, Dingledow preparing to have dinner with Tana, we haven't seen Tana since Crash 1, Cortex pretending to show concern for Coco, and Tropy spitting out his tea. Now here's something I found very interesting. Keith Webb talked about this 10th dimension, which was going to be completely grayscale. Here's what he explained back then. There was a time when the 10th dimension was going to be completely grayscale, devoid of any color. Only Crash was going to be in color, until certain sections were completed and then color would start fading into the world. The concept itself, it sounds so interesting. They could implement that in this reimagining. Now what made Twin Sanity Manny's favorite? I haven't played the game, many of you guys have recommended me to play the game. I'm gonna go with the idea and assume that they improved the gameplay. Just looking at the gameplay right now, they took the idea of Crash Bandicoot. They completely expanded the worlds. It's like fully open, fully explorable. Dark crates, Wumpa Fruit. Crash teaming up with Cortex. Many people have adored that idea and found it hilarious. 90% of you guys have enjoyed Twin Sanity. A few of you called it terrible and some of you called it so-so. And think of the following guys. If we get a Crash sequel, what do you imagine it to be like? I doubt it would have the same formula as the three classic games. It's linear. And the story. It's pretty non-existent. There is a story, but it's pretty much, okay, complete this level, okay, defeat this boss, move on to the next warp room, for example. The story aspect of those games, they were weak. In Twin Sanity, for example, there's a bunch of character interaction. Although many of you might disagree with the idea of a Twin Sanity reimagining, but the whole concept itself in Twin Sanity, it shows what an actual Crash sequel with a more open level could be like. And with this reimagining, we're talking about a new game. Look at Ratchet & Clank PS4. Many people seem to have enjoyed the gameplay at least, but many people still preferred the classic one. Why? Because the PS4 game, it's different. Would it be wrong to say that a Twin Sanity reimagining with all of the removed content could be considered a new game? It's not a remake. They use all of the same concepts, the worlds and all, but they change up like some of the character interactions and of course with the added cut content, they're going to have to edit a bunch of things. What do you imagine a Crash sequel to be like? I'm going to assume that you won't want it to be like the three classic games. You want it to be open world. If they change a bunch of things in Twin Sanity and make it great, then what's so wrong with that? And about this topic of changing things in the game, this brings me to the following three things. The cut content, the fourth wall breaking, and the yellow gems. If you're going to remake the game with all the missing content, you'd have to remove the yellow gems. Why? Because, well, not remove them, just change the concept. By collecting that, you would unlock concepts which weren't in the game. And the fourth wall breaking by Cortex. If you're going to add those missing dimensions, I don't think Cortex will say the same thing. They're going to have to change the lines. And don't forget about Wrath of Cortex. Many of you guys have said that there's little to no reference in Twin Sanity. So if they skip that game, it doesn't matter that much. Only the beginning. Okay, if it's only the beginning, why not reimagine it? Make a direct sequel to Crash Warped. They could do something 
with the time twister, it could take them to that icy place. Does it sound too crazy? They could still add in crunch, there's no problem with that. It could still be Cortex's secret project. And on the bright side, Vicarious would already have a bunch of concepts to work with. Yes, they're going to have to design the levels and everything, so yes, it is going to take longer. The Insane Trilogy, if I'm not mistaken, it took like a year and a half to complete. It started production in 2015, so there's that. And one last thing I'd like to mention. If we do get a Twin Sanity remake or reimagining one day, I would love if Vicarious uses the Insane Trilogy design. And it'll prove to people that Twin Sanity, the reimagining, let's say, it is a sequel to Crash Warped. But anyways guys, let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of the idea of a Twin Sanity reimagining? Is it terrible? Is it a good idea? Could it be considered the Crash sequel people have been waiting for? So yep, that's that. I've been Vivi and thanks for watching. Until next time.